So this tutorial is going to demonstrate how rather than you going out and searching for information, you can direct information right to you. So there are a series of steps and I would recommend you pause at certain times and complete them. So I want you to start off in your mail and we are going to create what's called a label. So we're going to organize your emails and you're, you're going to look a little different on your left side, but you're looking for something that says create new label. So I want you to call it Google Alerts. So you just type in Google Alerts. I already have one, so I'm going to call this two, and then just hit Create. So go ahead and do that, pause it, and then come back. All right, the second step is to create what's called a filter. So I'm going into my settings. So all the emails that you get from this Google Alert will go into this label. So click on Settings, Filters, and we're going to create a new filter. So you might want to write this down, but you're going to put in Google Alerts hyphen no reply at google.com. This is the email address that they're going to come, come from. And you're going to click on create a filter with the search. You want it to skip the inbox. And they call sort of these labels. And it's going to go into your Google Alerts folder and then you're going to create a filter. Notice there's a lot more functions you can do. We're just trying to keep it simple here. So create your filter. Go ahead and do that. You'll get confirmation and then come back and I'll set up the Google Alert for you. So you're going to set up your Google Alert. The easiest way to kind of find that is go to Google and search Google Alerts and that will take you to their to their page to do this. You're logged into your account. So I'm going to set up one for my topic. You're going to set up one for yours, and my hope is we'll come back and use some of these. Result type, why don't you stick to news? And then how often? For you, I would say um, once a week. I'm going to just leave it at once a day. And then you could do all results, only the best, I would say only the best results, and I'm just going to create an alert. So notice it's saved, and you can come back and delete this after the quarter is over. I have one on Salem, New Hampshire. All right, so now let's go back into our mail and see if anything's shown up. So I'm clicking on my apps button there, click on my mail. So this may not be instantaneous. I did set up another Google Alert, but you can see my Google Alerts, it's telling me there's one message there because these are low priority emails. And when I have time, we'll go and read them. So there's a Google Alert I set up on library. So go ahead, finish this off. And if you have time, I would like you to go through and clean up your inboxes. I saw a lot of emails. Think of an email as an action item. Read it. If there's something you need to do, keep it until it's done and then delete it. Otherwise, read and delete. You don't want to miss any important emails from your teachers. So uh, good luck with this. It is tricky. And let me know if you need any help.